And when you go to a Flying Squirrels game, how much do you notice what's going on off the field? The team that puts on the entire experience together is bigger than the team that's actually on the field. You can't fully appreciate how hard they work until you become one of them. On any given evening at the Diamond, a Flying Squirrels game is an avalanche of activity. On the field, in the seats, or just about anywhere in the ballpark, there is always something happening. Nowhere is that more evident than in the game control booth, where the scoreboard is run, the video streaming is directed, and the PA announcer keeps everything in line. Even when it comes to certain sponsored promotions um, with different situational game stats, like strikeouts, double plays, uh, RBI batters, strikeout batters, all those kinds of things, there are a bunch of varying elements, things going on. They might hear a person's name and number, but there is way more going going on behind the scenes and it's controlled chaos up in that booth. Anthony Opperman did the job for the past three seasons in addition to all of his other duties with the Squirrels Promotions Department. There are nine pages to the game script before the first pitch is ever thrown. Having to go by the game script, following what's going on in the game, hearing calls over the radio for things that were going on promotionally and then getting texts from Parney about other things that we needed to announce and shout outs that he wanted to give to people who were in attendance. It was a lot to try and juggle. Opperman took a step back and relinquished his announcing duties, creating an opening that is more than just a voice from above. That voice, that tone, that energy level sets the pace for the entire ballpark. The family environment that's here is really what drew us in. Enter Bianca Bryan. Good evening, RBA, and welcome to Funville. A voiceover and radio personality who has been coming to Squirrels games since she and her husband moved to Richmond nine years ago. On a whim, she applied for the PA job with a team that produces future players for her father's favorite team. My dad was like, oh, do you know that's the double-A team that feeds into the Giants? And so it just made it all the more special right off the bat. Brian figured she could handle the voice part of the job. Right fielder number 26. Given that it's her professional field. She's been really prepared every time she showed up at the ballpark. Her professionalism is off the charts. Hey, Squirrels fans. But being a lifelong baseball fan and having brought her kids to the diamond for years gave Brian more of an insight into what the squirrels were looking for, not just in an announcer, but in a member of their team. You're building baseball fans, you know, whether they're here for Betsy, Natasha, the team, the snacks, the beer, whatever it might be, it's the whole environment. The comfort level that we have with her already, it's like we've been together for a long, long time. Brian is not the first member of her family to hold this position either. Her Giants loving dad had a one day turn at the mic years ago. He was giving me tips for this job from his little moment behind the mic. But him being the biggest baseball fan in the family, he also was very helpful with what sort of things I'll announce and, and that stuff. But she is the first female to hold down the job in Richmond's long baseball history and just the second woman in the minors to have her title. She strives to be at her best every night, not just because it's her job, but because of the inspiration she may be to the next generation. And I think it really is important just to have that female voice, like I said, with myself up there and Meg's out there so that those little girls can see themselves or softball players that really love the sport and don't see themselves in it. It, it provides them a place, hopefully. To have little, a six-year-old girl, a 12-year-old girl, to hear Bianca's voice, and be able to say, mommy, daddy, someday I want to, I want that to be my voice. Okay. That's pretty awesome. There's another strikeout and another donation from Virginia Credit Union to Strikeout Hunger. Bianca says one of the hardest parts of the job is when managers make defensive changes and they need to be announced before play begins in the next inning. And thanks to her upbringing in places like Argentina, El Salvador, and Chile, even the toughest names on any roster are no problem for her.